Let's evaluate the limit as x approaches pi over 3 of the square root of tangent of x minus square root of 3 divided by x minus pi over 3. First note before we continue, this is the same as the square root of the limit as x approaches pi over 3 of tangent of x minus the square root of 3 divided by x minus pi over 3. So all we have to do is evaluate this limit and whatever this limit happens to be we can then take the square root of that for our final answer. So we can drop the square root for now and concentrate on the limit as x approaches pi over 3 of tangent of x minus square root of 3 divided by x minus pi over 3. At this point we have not learned differentiation. We'll revisit this problem again when we do and we'll see that it's easier to solve it using differentiation but at this point we can't do that so we're going to use trig identities and some other things to evaluate this limit. As x approaches pi over 3 tangent of x approaches tangent of pi over 3 which is square root of 3 minus the square root of 3 in the numerator so we have numerator approaching 0 and clearly the denominator also is approaching 0 which is pi over 3 minus pi over 3 so we have an indeterminate form a 0 over 0 to evaluate this limit we're going to need two things. The first was shown in an earlier video the limit as y approaches 0 of tangent of y divided by y is equal to 1 and the second thing we're going to need is the standard trigonometric identity tangent of a plus b equals tangent of a plus tangent of b divided by 1 minus tangent a times tangent of b. So these two things we're going to need to evaluate this limit. And now let's begin. First we're going to make a following substitution. We're going to let y equal to x minus pi over 3. Note that as x approaches pi over 3 y approaches 0. And also if we solve for x, x is equal to y plus pi over 3. Now let's return to the limit in variable x and express it as an equivalent limit in variable y. Our limit was limit x approaches pi over 3 of tangent of x minus the square root of 3 divided by x minus pi over 3. Now let's use that substitution that we have that becomes the limit as y approaches 0 tangent of y plus pi over 3 minus square root of 3 divided by y. Now in variable y the limit can be evaluated easier. Let's look at this part of the numerator tangent of y plus pi over 3. We're going to use that trig identity to express it as in terms of tangent y and tangent pi over 3. So tangent of y plus pi over 3 is equal to tangent of y plus tangent of pi over 3 divided by 1 minus tangent y times tangent of pi over 3. Now recall tangent of pi over 3 is square root of 3 so this is equal to tangent of y plus square root of 3 divided by 1 minus square root of 3 times tangent of y. And let's return to our limit our limit now looks like this. The limit as y approaches 0 tangent of y plus 
square root of 3 divided by 1 minus square root of 3 times tangent of y minus square root of 3 divided by y. Now this can be expressed as limit y approaches 0. We have tangent y plus square root of 3 divided by 1 minus square root of 3 tangent of y minus square root of 3 times 1 minus square root of 3 tangent of y divided by 1 minus square root of 3 tangent of y and divided by y. Let's express now the numerator because it has a common denominator. So this is the limit y approaches 0. Tangent of y plus square root of 3. Square root of 3. Negative square root of 3 times 1 is minus square root of 3. Minus square root of 3 times minus square root of 3 tangent y is plus 3 times tangent of y divided by 1 minus square root of 3 times tangent of y and all of this is divided by y. Now let's use another algebraic uh, identity. A divided by B divided by C is the same as A divided by B divided by C which is A divided by B times 1 over C and that's a divided by b times c. So we can just take this y and slide it right in here. And notice here in the numerator, square root of 3 minus square root of 3 cancel. Tangent y plus 3 tangent y gives us 4 tangent y. And so the limit becomes a little bit easier to handle. Limit is y approaches 0. In the numerator, we have 4 times tangent of y and in the denominator we have y times 1 minus square root of 3 times tangent of y. Let's break this up into a couple of things, a couple of limits. First the 4 can be factored outside the limit. 4 times the limit as y approaches 0 will take tangent of y divided by y and then times the limit y goes to 0 we now have 1 left in the numerator divided by 1 minus square root of 3 times tangent of y. So let y go to 0. Limit as y goes to 0 of tangent y over y. That's our result number 1. That's limit is 1. As y goes to 0, tangent of y goes to 0. So square root of 3 tangent y goes to 0 and the second limit is 1 and then times 4 we end up with 4 so limit as y goes to 0 of the limit that we had which was um, tangent of y plus pi over 3 minus square root of 3 and this was divided by y is equal to 4 and that's the same now as the limit as x approaches pi over 3 of tangent of x minus square root of 3 divided by x minus pi over 3. Now let's return to the original problem. The original problem was evaluate the limit as x approaches pi over 3 of the square root of tangent of x minus square root of 3 divided by x minus pi over 3. We saw that this was the same as the square root of the limit as x approaches pi over 3 of tangent of x minus square root of 3 divided by x minus pi over 3. We just saw that that limit is 4. So our final answer is the limit is square root of 4 or 2. For more videos visit www.mathprepvideos.com
www.thinkingdoctor.com.